All right, let's begin. The first thing you want to do is create a plane in the front viewport. And you want to name that object front reference. The next thing you want to do is change the length and width segments to 1. And then turn on smooth and highlights in the front viewport so you can see the shaded object. Next thing to do is open up the material in the editor, choose the first material, name it front reference, apply a diffuse map, a bitmap, go and find the bitmap. I'm going to choose this image here. I'm going to note the, the size of the image in pixels so I can apply it to the plane size later on to get the correct aspect ratio. So I'm applying the bitmap and turning on the show bitmap and viewport button. I'm going to turn up the self illumination so light and shading do not affect the, uh, the plane. Now I'm going to I'm going to apply the numbers that I noted earlier to the size of the bitmap in the modify panel. So I'm changing it to those numbers. Now to change the size of the the plane, I'm going to move the decimal place over one spot, making the plane a lot smaller. You should try not to use the scale tool. Use the parameter in the modify panel to do that. Now I'm going to zero that reference plane by right clicking on the spinners in the um, X, Y, and Z coordinates on the status bar. I'm going to clone the, the front reference and reuse it for the side. So I'm cloning and naming that side reference. I'm going to rotate the plane with angle snap on for precision. Make sure I rotate it at 90 degrees. I'm going to reuse the material I created earlier by dragging and dropping, renaming the material, and then I'm going to change the bitmap that's being used for that material. Remember you should note the size of that image in pixels. It happens to be the same size. If your image is facing the wrong direction, as it is in my case, change the U tiling to negative and it will flip the direction that the bitmap is facing. So now I'm going to compare my front and side reference for registration make sure that the top and bottom line up nice if you have to scale one of the planes up or down so that the feet line up with the feet and the top of the head line up with the top of the head now just about done here I'm going to select both of the reference planes right click on them and turn on back face calling turn off show frozen in gray and then click the freeze button to freeze the reference planes. I'm going to turn on smooth and highlights in the left view, turn off the grid so I can see better. I'm going to do the same thing in the front view and there you have it. The reference is all set up and I'm ready to start modeling.